Yes, my friend. I'm thinking I do not enjoy this place. How can I help you? Already? I still haven't finished digesting our last lesson. Perhaps another time. Storm cloaks want to kill each other over some. And away we go. I say, let them. What is on your mind? I'm wondering why we are here. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. But we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. Oh. Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? You've come to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking. Unworthy of one such as you. Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. I don't know they make a I've target of the Argonians really as well. Like In fact, just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us. But Rolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk like around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charmer, that one. Be careful. These are dangerous times. Don't, don't hurt me. Just leave me alone. Moron. You. You a dark elf lover? Get out of our city, you filthy piece of trash. Don't like it? Too bad. This is our city. Ours! Don't think I can take you? One hundred septums say I can punch you back where you came from. All right? Fists only. And none of that magic stuff either. Let's go. Come on. Let's see what you're made of. Ah! Fight! Fight! <laughs> ah! wasn't a fair swing. Yeah, here. No. Last girl, I told you to leave my tools alone. You have yours, and I have mine. Hurry up, I go. Touch it. What is he up Hammers to back don't there? don't have legs. Did you look behind the forge? I think I saw it there. Oh, yes. Now that you mention it, I think... Uh, sorry about that. Everyone says Jorland Greymane is the best smith in Skyrim. I plan to change a few minds about that. Of course I am. What do I look like, a tavern wench? Ah, uh, don't let my words cut you too deep. I've just been working the forge too hard. Trying to set this sword right. Jarl wants it to look like an ancient blade. 
High Queen Friedis ruled over Windhelm in the Second Era, and her sword was legendary. Getting the real sword would be even better than making a copy, but no one wants to risk getting it from its resting place. If you find that sword, Traveler, I'd be grateful. Every bit as sharp as what you'll find in Whiterun. I respect Jorland, but he has the good fortune to work the Skyforge. Something about the fires. Their steel just holds tighter, if that makes any sense. I don't see these troubles as business. This is a labor of honor to bring Ulfric his rightful glory. I would hammer a thousand shields, Shore's bones. I might just have to. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Don't forget, you find Queen Freydis' sword, I'll reward you. I'm glad to see you. I'm afraid I have absolutely no idea what you're speaking of. Fine. Here, take this. Good to see you. Just got here from the Somerset Isles. Lots of opportunity in Skyrim. It was difficult at first. The Nords of this city are at best suspicious of outsiders. But in time, I made the right friends and proved myself useful enough that they don't give me trouble anymore. The Dark Elves are too proud and naive to understand the way things truly are, and so they continue to dwell in that slum. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures.
I'll see you again soon, I hope. Huh? Everything you see has grown at my family's own Holly Frost farm. Fresh and filling. I also do a little herb growing. The court wizard, Woundfirth, pays us to plant a little nightshade. Who knows what he uses it for? Hey, could you deliver this bottle of nightshade extract to Woundfirth? Thanks. There's an old saying that only a Nord can work the soil in Skyrim. I don't think anyone else would have the patience for it. It takes half a day just to dig a planting row in the cold, stony earth here. But what else can we do? Eat rocks and ice? Everything I got on display, really. Good day to you. Knives and other goods for the home, all at reasonable prices. I'll be fine. <laughs> Master, you're far too old for this sort of journey. We don't know what's inside. <coughs> I'll... I can... Let me give you some room. Uh, just... <coughs> looking for something. What can I do for you, well. friend? Have a seat. One thing everyone If there was a tonic that could help me, I would have found it by now. We've stopped. What is it? I'm so close to the answer. Just a man's life work is all. I finally derived the location of the white file, but this doting busybody won't let me get it. You would do that? It's good to know there are some people out there who are willing to help an old man. It's buried with its maker, Kural Mill, in a long forsaken cave to the west of here. Kural Mill was a crafty one, even in death. You would need the skills of a master alchemist to reach his resting place. Luckily for you, I've already made the mixture. Here, take it, please. No, don't dally. I've wasted enough time arguing with my useless assistant here. A legendary bottle, forged in the days when Skyrim was just starting its turn to ice. A small container.
Hope to see you again soon. Spare a coin for a poor old woman. People laugh at things they don't believe. It helps them accept the unknown. <clears throat> a few septims for my supper is all I ask. Spare a coin for an old woman, my lord. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Always a pleasure. A few septums ain't nothing. You can spare that. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. As if Skyrim didn't have enough outsiders. Now we've got mercenaries from Hammerfell strutting about. What are you doing that for? Whatever you've heard I can do is probably true. Ah, oh, yes. The extract. Good. Poisonous, of course, but uh, it has its uses. I suppose you want something for your trouble? Here. Mind what or who you practice this on. If Ulfric needs a favor, he has it. Anyone else better pay well for the service. A strong sword arm wins battles, but a keen mind wins wars. Careful! How are you doing, my friend? Excellent! I've been looking forward to this! What shall we work on this time? They'll never see me coming. Shh. Quiet, Lucian. Sneaky, Lucian. Let me know if you need anything else. If you'd asked, I'd have moved. It's no secret the Aretino boy is doing some ritual, trying to call the Dark Brotherhood. But who's going to stop him? Me? I Hello there, Michael. Certainly. What needs doing? I am at your service. Well, what would you like me to do? Good to see you. Certainly. What needs doing? I am at your service. Sure. How are you doing, my friend? All right, then. I'm right behind you. <laughs> mm. 
No lollygagging. Then let them die with their false kings. We've been soldiers a long time. Is it dragons? Lucian, are you attempting to communicate with me? And if so, is your mind all right? Oh, yes, marvelous, thank you. I was just thinking how fun your name is to say. Oof, carry on then, I suppose. I thought you were having an episode. No, no, all is well here. Inigo! 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 You're a very strange man. What is on your mind? Who made the gods, I wonder? No one ever told me a satisfactory answer. No, my mind is as empty as a beggar's purse. One of the best soldiers in the Stormcloak army, until I took a sword to the chest. I'd be out there fighting the Imperials right now if it wasn't for my war wound. Poor Nilsi. I'd appreciate it if you don't bother my wife, To. Our little girl died recently. I've been shouldering my days with strong need, but nothing gives my Tova peace. I've been looking for an amulet of R.K. to remind my wife that our child is with the gods now, but I can't find one. Thank you. I hope R.K. grants my wife some comfort. Thank you. Here, I always pay my debts. Got any ale or mead? Yes, yes. Now, to find myself a drink. Go. Are you up for a bit of rhyming? Sure. My mind is a little bored, so this is pretty good timing. You are a fun companion, Inigo, even when you're whining. In my opinion, word games are best when you play them reclining. Maybe, but right now I'm focusing on these sentences. I'm refining. This is fun, but I am afraid my rhyming skills are, um, declining. I can see that. If this were a production, I'd be headlining. Okay, okay. You win again. Very good. Thank you. I must say, this has put me in a rather good mood. Well, it should. That was fun, Inigo. Thank you.
What do you need? Bye for now. <coughs> An outsider? No reason to stop in Kynesgrove. Keep moving. Nosy one, huh? I was a mage back in Morrowind. I lend my talents to the mines here, helping them keep the tunnels safe. By Azura, it gets hot in there. I use frost salts for a potion to keep the heat bearable, but I'm out. If you want to go to the trouble, feel free. I suppose I could offer you a bit of free alteration training when Lucian. you get back. Yes, Inigo? Teach me something interesting, please. Hmm. Well, Let well. You actually did Say what you said you were going to do. I'm impressed. Here, let me teach you a thing or two about alteration magic. Magicka. It's the least I can wow. do. I will enjoy that piece of information for as long as I can persuade it to stay inside my skull. Thank you. My mind is grateful. You're I can certainly welcome, share Inigo. a bit of what I know. Safe travels. If you bring mead, you're welcome here. Ah, even if you don't, you're still welcome. Well, a lifetime of study, you might say. The best comes mm. from Riften. Yum. But I haven't Sweet been there in years. Ever tried making your own? It's, uh, not easy, trust me. Until next time. Did you see my husband already? I'm sorry. He can come off a bit rough at times. Let's sate that appetite, hmm?
See ya. <coughs> I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of me. Hey, Lucian! This way! Dangerous. 